So good morning. Here we are back in the essential space with Ed Zagrebic, our Vice President of Sales, and Jake Minot, Director of Sales. Welcome. Hello, thank you. Good morning. So how is everyone doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Good, good. Where are you today, Ed? You know, I'm back in Wisconsin. I just came back from a trip out to uh, Arizona, working on some wood floor care projects with some of our customers. Fantastic, fantastic. And Jake, where are you? I'm back in Knoxville, spent a couple of days around West Tennessee and uh, got back yesterday. Wonderful. It's nice to hear that you guys are out and discovering different situations out in the field. So, Ed, we're really excited to have you here today to share some insights and some real examples of where you're demonstrating our, one of our products, the Pantheon Concrete Sealer. So I'm going to let you, Jake, guide Ed through the process of the demo for the Pantheon Concrete Sealer. Yeah, so I think, you know, as, as we look at the industry, we see this trend towards more concrete with new constructions or remodels. So what we kind of want to focus on is how we've been able to help our customers transition maybe into a new market space where they haven't went after concrete before. So, so I guess we'll start, Ed, by asking you about a situation that you've ran into recently where there's been some problems with concrete that you've been able to solve with some of our products. Yeah, I actually have a really good example. We uh, recently, we were working with one of our customers down in Louisiana. Actually, it's the port of New Orleans. It's it's all concrete. And we're talking about you know millions of square feet of, of concrete surface. The problem right now that we see in the marketplace is that if you try to use a conventional finish on concrete, you just have a lot of issues because it, it could be anything from adhesion issues to um, marking issues on the floor where some coatings, when they get markings on them, it, they won't release. So the customer and the maintenance crew that's out there working hard is spending a lot of time trying to, to keep the floor looking right. And there's so much labor and time involved that it just gets to be where they're banging their head against the wall because they're trying to find a solution and they just don't have the time and the money to go after it themselves. So they're looking for anybody that can help them with a problem. So I would imagine in a setting like that, you've also got, being that it's a port, you've probably got a lot of like the outside elements coming in onto the floor, whether it be, you know, rain or water intrusion or, or different things like that, where they seeing some of those issues. You know, pardon the pun, but it's the perfect storm, you know, the, the, where that port is in New Orleans. You've got everything coming in from outside, but you have also have just thousands of people. It's like an airport for boats. The people are coming through these facilities and it's foot traffic, it's suitcases, it's anything that could pull or tow something. It's everything coming through there. And whatever you put down on that floor has to be able to withstand that and at the same time, you know, be easy to put down, easy to maintain. And it's almost like, you know, when you start talking about this program, when we, when we presented Pantheon, like a lot of our products, it, it sounds too good to be true. You know, we, we highlight all the issues they're having. And then we say, hey, we've got a great product for you. And they kind of roll their eyes and they're like, yeah, just like the last three guys that have come in. So it was a perfect situation for a, a demo for the product. And what we ended up doing is we took one of the worst areas, and everybody knows that's what they end up giving you first. They took we took one of the worst areas and we scrubbed it, recoated with Pantheon, and it wasn't just you know adhesion is a big deal and it's a big deal for all of our coatings. But with this situation, it was one of the major players. One of the things that really helped us was our our BHMR, so our black heel mark resistance. So when people were coming through, bags were coming through, forklifts were coming through, all these things, that we weren't getting the marking on the floor after we put the demo down. And the second part, which a lot of people forget about, if we did get marks, the marks were easily releasing off the floor. So you could walk through, and if you had a couple scuff marks, you could take your shoe and take it right off. And according to the guys in the facility, before those marks would get ground into the coating, and it would force them to come in and do scrub and recoats. And when you really think about it from a contractor standpoint or the guy that has to do the work, that's the problem. 
is the labor time that you have to spend trying to maintain this thing is, is just unbelievable. So it wasn't just that our product looked great and it stood up. It was on the back end, the amount of, amount of money that we helped save them just with the scrubbing and recoding and the lack of, you know, they could, they could just clean that floor and it stood up. So Ed, if I can interrupt, um, I'm wondering what was actually on the floor. They had a, a conventional floor finish. So it was just a regular kind of floor finish. It wasn't made for concrete. It was just okay. a regular coating. Okay, fantastic. So tell us a little bit about what the results were. And I'm assuming this is a, a potential customer. So tell us a little bit about um, how they felt about it and the steps that you've been following up with. They were ecstatic because even when we put it down and when we first started doing the demo, I think we had four or five people with us from the port. Half of them didn't pay a lot of attention. And when we sat, sat and talked with them while the product was drying, they, they just didn't think it was gonna work. And I think that's because they saw so many products come through. You know, when we prepped the floor, we cleaned the floor, we put it down, you know, we came back a week later and it looked exactly the same. So they were really happy. So then it was, you know, let's see how it looks after another couple of weeks. And the product just stood up. It, it didn't mark up when they did get some, some marks on it from something like a, a forklift. They could easily run an auto scrubber over and clean it. It doesn't require buffing, which is huge. It's another labor saving. So then they're selling us. You know, they're like, well, we, we don't have to con continually come in and try to remove scuffs and make marks in the floor because we're removing them. We don't have to buff it to keep the gloss. Um, it's really easy to maintain. It's stain resistant. And that's what happens when you use the right product for the right surface. This isn't a floor finish. This is a coating that when you put it down, it's going to resist. You know, it's going to have a high BHMR. It, it's going to have a really nice gloss. It's not going to cow path where you're going to see people walk down the middle of the, you know, that path that gets burned down the middle of the floor. So the customer's happy. They're buying product. We've got some great pictures from what we can share, but uh, it was a it was a, a huge success. Fantastic, fantastic. Jake, is there anything else that you would like to add to this? Um, that sounds like a really great uh, process. Is there anything else that we need to touch on? No, I think it's just you know with, with Pantheon, it's it's really cool to be able to go into a customer and give them a product that's going to allow them to stop throwing money at a problem that, you know, everything they've tried in the past hasn't been able to fix. So um, that, that's what kind of separates us is we design these products to specifically attack uh, situations and problems that our customers are facing, you know, out in the real world. Sure, that sounds great. Uh, we really appreciate um, all these great insights and these stories, and we want to know more about what is happening out there in um, in the world and what you guys are doing. The Pantheon is a great one, and we want to hear way more success stories because it, it's just a fantastic product. Ed, we really appreciate you giving us a little insight on the information that you learned at the port in New Orleans. And I learned about uh, BHMR. That's a great result from this product. And and also did not know that you didn't have to buff this one. So great insights. So if anyone that's listening has any questions about Pantheon, um, go ahead and put those in our LinkedIn page. And we really look forward to um, seeing all of you again in the essential space and Thank you again, Ed, for joining us. And as usual, thank you, Jake. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks.